Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. Today we'll be creating this fun giant rosette type cake. For this project you'll need a 6 inch base tier and a 4 inch top tier. I've already stacked and crumb coated my 4 inch. You can see at the very base there uh, the whisper of a little 4 inch cake board. So there are cake boards underneath the top tiers. Then cover it completely with buttercream. Smooth it out, fill in any pockets as you go. And then when you're happy with the finish, drag that top lip towards the middle. You want to pop this cake into the fridge for at least three hours or into your freezer for half an hour. In the meantime, we can work on our bottom tier. Again, this is a six inch that we're using here. Stacked and crumb coated, I'm applying that final layer of frosting in pink buttercream. I added just a touch of pink gel food color to achieve this particular tone. Push the buttercream all the way to the bottom, cover it completely and then gently uh, smooth out your frosting. Bring that top lip to the middle and then you can refrigerate it if you like for another 20 minutes before you go in with a 1M piping tip. Try to start with the piping tip position directly in the middle of the cake. That way as you create the ruffle, it'll be even. It was a little bit low to start, but that's okay. We actually um, took that particular layer off later. Try to start in the middle and then just basically create rings around that first initial rosette. If you can do this without stopping, fantastic. It would look a lot better. If you did have to stop like I did here to reposition the piping bag in my hand, you are gonna see where that left off. So if you can do it in one fluid motion, that would be best. Make them big enough so that they can touch and then just fill in the top and the bottom with a V. I was not happy at all with the very first one, so I just scraped it off. It's a very forgiving design, it'll get covered anyway, so. And basically just continue this all the way around. Once your whole cake has been covered, you can refrigerate it if you like for another 20 minutes just to set that buttercream in case you touch and dint it by accident. Here I'm applying three bubble tea straws. I'm cutting them flush with the very top of the cake and then pressing them back in. These are used to support the weight of your top tier. My one came out of the freezer after half an hour so I could handle it with my hands without any issues. Plonked it on top and then sealed that um, base with some pearls in buttercream. For the top I've got some white chocolate ganache tinted pink and creating a nice big puddle at the top giving my cake a good shake to settle it and then creating these little drips along the side. Notice how I'm not feeding the drip, I'm just creating a teeny tiny little dot basically on the edge. That pull that we piped earlier, that is gonna to continue to feed the length of the drip. And believe me when I say it will feed it. But anyway, that is how you create this fun little rustic rosette design. If you recreate it, I would love to see it. Send me your photos, hashtag Rosie's Dessert Spot. Thank you guys again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.